Somalia boasts one of Africa's longest coastlines, stretching over 3,300 kilometers along the Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Aden. This vast expanse of shoreline is not only breathtaking but has shaped the lives and livelihoods of millions for centuries. For generations, these waters have been a vital source of fish and trade, sustaining coastal communities and connecting Somalia to the wider world. But beneath the rolling waves of the Indian Ocean, a far greater treasure may be hidden, vast oil and gas reserves that could transform the nation's future. After decades of conflict, instability, and whispers of black gold, Somalia stands at a pivotal crossroads, balancing hope and uncertainty. International energy companies are now eyeing its shores, drawn by promising seismic data that hints at world-class hydrocarbon deposits lying just offshore. The Somali government, having made significant strides in stability, security, and legal reform, is actively courting foreign investment to unlock this potential. Early surveys suggest offshore basins could hold between 30 and 50 billion barrels of oil, potentially rivaling the reserves of Nigeria and Libya, two of Africa's energy giants. For a nation long defined by hardship, this newfound wealth could mean new roads, modern hospitals, better schools, and improved infrastructure for all. It could also open doors to education, jobs, and opportunities for a new generation eager to build a brighter future. Yet, the journey from promise to prosperity is fraught with challenges, political, environmental, and social. This story explores Somalia's path from early discoveries and dreams through decades of turmoil and missed opportunities to its current moment of hope and risk as the nation stands on the threshold of a new era. Somalia's oil story began in the 1950s and 60s, when companies like Shell and ConocoPhillips conducted promising seismic surveys. These early explorations hinted at vast, untapped reserves beneath the Somali landscape, sparking dreams of prosperity and development. Hopes were high, but political upheaval, culminating in the 1991 civil war, shut down exploration. The conflict led to widespread instability, making it impossible for companies to continue their operations safely. International oil companies declared force majeure and left, freezing Somalia's oil potential for nearly three decades. The once bustling exploration sites turned into ghost towns with rusted machinery and abandoned equipment as silent witnesses to what could have been. The country became a no-go zone, its dreams of oil wealth replaced by the struggle for survival. Families were displaced, and the focus shifted from economic development to basic human needs. Only in the 2010s, with a new federal government and improved security, did stability return. The government worked tirelessly to restore order and rebuild the nation's infrastructure. The government prioritized rebuilding institutions and creating a modern legal framework for petroleum. This included drafting new laws and regulations to attract foreign investment and ensure the responsible development of resources. The passage of a new petroleum law and the creation of the Somali Petroleum Authority signaled a new era. These steps were crucial in laying the foundation for a transparent and efficient oil sector. These reforms reopened Somalia to global investors. The international community began to take notice, and interest in Somalia's oil potential was reignited. The groundwork was laid for a second chance at unlocking its energy wealth. New exploration projects were launched and modern technology was brought in to tap into the resources that had been out of reach for so long. Now the world is watching to see if Somalia can seize this opportunity. The future holds promise, but it will require careful management and continued stability to turn these dreams into reality. Somalia's offshore basins, Abia, Coriol, and Juba, could hold 30 to 50 billion barrels of oil. If confirmed, Somalia would instantly rival Africa's oil giants Nigeria and Libya. Its potential dwarfs Angola and Ghana, making it a top target for global energy companies. 
Recent seismic surveys reveal geological structures similar to those in Mozambique's Rovuma Basin, where massive gas finds were made. UK-based Soma Oil & Gas estimates 21 billion barrels in its licensed areas alone. The government's first offshore licensing round has attracted serious interest. Drilling campaigns set for late 2025 or early 2026 aim to turn estimates into proven reserves. A single discovery could transform Somalia's economy overnight. Somalia's strategic location along the Indian Ocean and near the Bab el Mandeb Strait makes it vital for global trade and energy transit. Millions of barrels of oil pass daily through these waters, linking Europe and Asia. Stability here is a top priority for world powers, who remember the chaos of Somali piracy. A stable, oil-rich Somalia would have immense geopolitical leverage. Turkey, the US and others are deepening ties, seeing both opportunity and risk. Oil discoveries would amplify Somalia's importance making it a key player in global energy and security. But this attention brings both investment and intense scrutiny. 2025 marked a turning point as Somalia signed major deals and welcomed specialized vessels for oil exploration. Turkey's TPAO secured onshore and offshore agreements, with the Oruç Reis vessel conducting advanced surveys. Early results are promising, with Turkey announcing preliminary certification of large offshore reserves. U.S. firm Liberty Petroleum and U.K.'s Soma Oil & Gas are also active, while legacy players like Shell watch closely. The first deepwater wells are set to be drilled soon, a pivotal test for Somalia's oil ambitions. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has announced drilling will begin within months. A successful well could trigger a wave of investment and reshape the nation's future. For Somalis, oil is more than revenue. It's hope for a new future. Even a fraction of projected reserves could transform the national budget, funding roads, ports, schools and hospitals. Oil could free Somalia from aid dependence and empower homegrown development. Thousands of jobs will be created, from engineers to support staff, and local businesses will thrive. The government aims to use oil as a catalyst for broader economic growth and technological advancement. Ambitious projects like a satellite launch station are on the horizon. Recent fiscal reforms and debt relief show Somalia is building a foundation for responsible management. The challenge is to ensure this wealth benefits all Somalis, not just a few. Oil wealth can be a curse if mismanaged. History is full of cautionary tales. Countries blessed with natural resources have often found themselves trapped in cycles of conflict, poverty and environmental destruction, rather than prosperity. Somalia faces major hurdles, lack of infrastructure, weak institutions, and the ever-present risk of corruption. Without strong foundations, oil revenues can easily be squandered or stolen, leaving ordinary citizens behind. Billions will be needed for ports, pipelines, and refineries. Building this infrastructure is a massive undertaking, requiring careful planning, skilled labor, and long-term investment. Transparent, accountable governance is essential to prevent elites from capturing the wealth. Only with open decision-making and public oversight can the benefits reach all Somalis. A sovereign wealth fund and strict anti-corruption laws are critical. These tools can help ensure that oil money is managed wisely and invested for the future. Regional divisions, especially with Puntland and Somaliland, could spark disputes over revenue sharing. If not addressed, these tensions could undermine national unity and stability. Clear agreements are needed to avoid conflict and ensure unity. Inclusive dialogue and fair distribution of resources are key to lasting peace. Environmental risks loom large. Offshore drilling threatens marine ecosystems and fishing communities. Oil spills and pollution could devastate livelihoods and fragile habitats. Strict environmental standards and impact assessments must be enforced. Protecting Somalia's natural resources is as important as developing them. 
Somalia must learn from others to avoid the pitfalls of the resource curse. By studying global examples and investing in education, the country can chart a more sustainable and inclusive path forward. Somalia stands at the threshold of transformation, but success is not guaranteed. The key is strong governance, fair revenue sharing, and unwavering transparency. Institutions like the Somali Petroleum Authority must be empowered and independent. Leaders must manage public expectations. Real change will take time. Early investments should deliver visible benefits to build trust. Oil wealth must diversify the economy, invest in education, and heal old divisions. Every Somali region and community must share in the prosperity. If Somalia navigates these challenges wisely, its coastline could become the engine of an African success story.